What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another of Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite set review on the WWE Elite Ruthless Aggression series. Now, what number series is this? Is this series four or five? I think it's series number five. Series four was Tori Wilson, JBL, and Edge. This is series number five with The Rock, The Miz, and MVP. Now, I'm very excited for this set. Not a perfect set by any stretch, but it is some figures that I think we could use in the collection, and I'm excited to fill those holes. Hold up a second. But Hollywood Rock is probably the one I'm most excited for, but I think the other two figures do have some good qualities about them. But of course, we're going to crack them out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, of course, here. But we have The Rock, Miz, and MVP here, man. Let's go ahead and take a look at the figures in their pack. Packaging. Of course, you do have Hollywood Rock or Concert Rock. Saw a version of this back in the day, but this is much stronger and better. I think it represents it better. The torso choice is better. It's just excellent. I, I like this a lot, even though that damn breakaway guitar is old as hell. We also have The Miz here. Now, this is like my least favorite version of The Miz. And I, The Miz, if I had to rank like some of my least favorite wrestlers ever, The Miz would definitely be in my top 10 countdown. By, by no means is he one of my favorites. But I think that, you know, I, I've grown to respect him a lot more. And this figure is a good representation of this era of Miz. It's just, now, like, he just looks like a straight buffoon clown. Anyways, let's move on to the last figure in the set, which is going to be the MVP here, which is very sick. I love how they got the pattern on the gloves, which we'll get into in a moment. This is like some youth gloves that came out like when I was in fifth or sixth grade, this this Under Armour glove mold came out. And it's crazy because I remember playing youth football and like a bunch of kids having these. I was a Nike guy. I wasn't like really big on Under Armour. However, it was still really cool to like, that's a paint detail that I can admire. So the black and white and silver is clean. Even though it's not my favorite gear, I still think it looks pretty sweet here in figure form. But nonetheless, man, let's crack all these Ruthless Aggression figures out of their packaging, find out what they're about, see how they are, and see if this set is worth a damn. Alright guys, so here are all three figures out of the packaging. You have The Rock, MVP, and The Miz, of course, here. You have The Rock, The Miz, and The MVP, apparently. But what we're going to do is dive into each figure individually. Of course, we don't have the rotating base yet. I still can't find it. It makes me sick. But usually when we do these videos, we don't even have the rotating base. We usually take one figure at a time, break it down, check it out, take a look at everything, look at the accessories. And usually, in these, like, store-exclusive waves, right, your, your Royal Rumble sets, your Ruthless Aggression, your Top Talents, things of these natures, usually are just repaints here, but while we do have some repaints here, we do have some new sculpts and new things going on, so let's go ahead and dive into it. Starting off first with The Rock. Now with The Rock, you do get quite a few accessories. You get the guitar, you get the mic, you get interchangeable hands, and you get sunglasses and a vest. Now with the guitar, I'm not taking this rubber band off. I'm leaving this rubber band on here forever. You have one going around the, the waist there and then one across the top. I'm not taking this apart because you guys know as well as I do, if you've collected this line for any amount of time, when we get these breakaway guitars, when it breaks, Brad, it's done with. You know, it, it's difficult. You have to rebuild it. They need to make a guitar mold that is fully, fully together, man, that has no breakaway parts, and I get it, but all you have to do is do it once, and then it's over with. Then you can maybe include two guitars. You have a breakaway and a regular, but it just doesn't. You have that line in the back that breaks away, like this comes off, the rim comes off, these two pieces break off, then you have the neck of the guitar. So, it's painted nice. It's got good sculpts and everything, but Jesus, I, I, I definitely am sick of the guitar mold. You also get a scratch WWE logo here, and I don't see the modern logo actually sculpted on there, so this is good. It's accurate. It's nice. Love the old scratch logo. Then you also get these gold shades that I believe we've seen with The Rock before, maybe the Best of Attitude Era or something like that, but they fit the figure nice. And then you do get mic holding hands and choke slamming hands for your Rock, and I guess that's to hold the neck of the guitar, but I really wish they would use more of the Ultimate Edition hands, like the Just Bring It style hands. Now getting into The Rock figure itself, the head sculpt's not bad, but we've seen it so many damn times. I, I kind of low-key I hate this head sculpt because we've seen it so many times. I low-key wish they went with like this head sculpt, but kind of like shaved it down. So you know, it's kind of like that faded head Hair, like shaved faded head sculpt instead of you know the longer haircut here because I like this likeness better and I think uh, this expression looks nice but you know it, just because we've seen this head sculpt so many damn times I'm over it you know what I mean but it's not bad I guess we also get the black vest in there it's just a plain black vest I didn't take it off because I do not care I'm just leaving it man I'm leaving it on there and one thing that's nice about this is they actually removed the tattoo there on the peck because that is accurate. They actually did get that accurate there. He didn't have the full tattoo yet, but he's got the double jointed arms that are nice on here. They're nicely, you know, they feel good. They don't feel tight or anything. But here's the money shot, and this is the Brahma Bull belt buckle going on in the gold. Nice sculpt here, brand new crotch piece, very clean. Love this, reminds me of Here Comes the Pain. 
because his alternate gear that you could rock with the rock was the chaps and the vest and the black jeans and the black, you know, like leather pants. And this is very, very sick, man. I don't know about his height. Like, this is the same jeans mold we've seen, but this is a brand new crutch piece. Now, as far as his height's concerned, I think he is too short because, like, look at this Miz figure right here. This Miz figure is, like, right up to him. And I don't think the Miz is the height of the rock, but I don't think it's, like, abysmal. I, I mean, you may be able to get away with it. It's not egregious or anything, but I like the rock figure. We're going to also rank these figures at the end of the video. So stay tuned for the ranking at the end there. But that is the rock figure. Now with the Miz, you do get this padded steel chair. Nothing, you know, immaculate or over the top. But it is a steel chair. And I always appreciate a steel chair accessory. And I know a lot of people that are missing steel chairs are going to like this, you know. But I don't know. That Miz figure, I just did, I didn't really want it, man. It's just a figure. It would have been the last figure on my damn list that I would want. But it is an updated Miz. And of course by updated, I just mean double jointed arms, true effects. New stuff here and there. But definitely a throwback Miz. But we do have this new glove mold here. It's like this, like, textured fingerless glove mold here, which I don't really care for. It's not bad, but it is fingerless gloves with black pegs, so that's nice. Then he also comes with his own version of, like, the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard-style hands, but they do have the gloves sculpted on there as well. And Bill did tell us at the Superstore out in L.A. that that was a new hand mold, so that's a cool sculpt there. And then he also comes with a fedora, so he has the fedora with the bandana sculpted underneath there, which is accurate, so you get the red, and then you get that in there. And it actually fits the head really, really well, so that's, that's good to see. So you also get the fedora slash bandana. And then we have the Miz figure here, man, which I think my ab crunch is kind of loose. It's not like, it's not the worst thing of all time, but it's certainly not great. It's kind of tight there, but then it does get a little bit loose on me there. Looks like he's rocking the eyeliner in there a little bit. Got the little mohawk with the blonde in there. I just do. I hated this version of Miz, and I've always disliked the Miz. Just like his character and like coming in, like I remember when he debuted. Like, dude, I just was not a fan of the guy, and it took me forever to really get on board with what he was doing, but he also has the, he does have kind of like these overall straps that plug down right here, and then it's got the waistband on it, which is loose here. You can't really, I guess you could like flip it over I don't think it unclasps or anything, but I guess may you might could like remove this and then flip it over and put it on there and have them up, but I don't know why you'd do that. But it has nice sculpts on it. It's got like black and silver and red and white. Like it looks okay. Double jointed arms. You have those gloved hands that I was talking about. He's got all these cool graphics going down on the long black shorts. It's like spray paint. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't even know, like those Walmart jeans or shorts that you see, you know, it's got the skull crossbones on there. Just definitely just a ugh, man rough. Got some like old English lettering on there, double jointed knees, and then he does have like the Cesaro Elite 93 kick pads in here is what this looks like to me, but I like the graphics on him and stuff, but I don't think he wore kick pads, did he? I thought he wore like long socks with, with you know, like high tops or something like that, but I don't really, I'm pretty sure that's accurate, man. I'm pretty sure he wore like sneakers with long socks, but nonetheless, that is the Miz figure. Nothing crazy. But, uh, yeah, there's a there's a classic Miz for you. Let's go ahead and put his fedora on there so you guys can see here. See, it fits the figure pretty well. Not too, too bad there. He also has elbow pads, but... The Miz is a guy... You could use this torso for the Miz. I mean, I think the Matt Hardy one would also work, but... Well, we'll take it. It's not egregious. Now, for MVP's accessories, you do get the black do-rag here that does have MVP on it in, like, a box right there. And I don't like this because it's like the Hulk Hogan bandana. And it's way too damn big. It's way too big. It doesn't even sit on the head too good. Like, it's very big. It doesn't, like, clasp or grab the head sculpt, so it's kind of difficult. He also comes with these shades. Now, these shades are pretty nice. And I think these are also the Hogan mold, if I'm not mistaken. But they use this dark brown color. And when you put it on the figure, it kind of gives it that kind of look that looks like they're shaded instead of brown. It kind of looks like they are, you know, they just have, like, a tint to them, which I can appreciate. I think it looks really good on the figure. And then he also comes with the Under Armour style gloves that I was talking about in the black and white. Now, these are Rey Mysterio gloves. They've done this with a few MVPs now. We saw it with the modern MVP. We saw it with the regular MVP now. This is the Rey Mysterio glove mold. So he comes with the Rey Mysterio, like, SmackDown intro, reaching out style hands. And then he comes with the fisted hands, which are way too damn small, which you guys will see. But it is cool to see the glove hands included. I just think we need new glove sculpted hands instead of using Rey Mysterio for MVP and guys like that. Now, for the MVP, I just want to put this on here so you guys can see. Like, it doesn't look that bad on there, but it's definitely too big. You see how, like, baggy it is? And, like, it doesn't sit on there nice. It definitely, like, falls off. You're not going to really, like, be able to plug it on there. But here's the sunglasses. This is what I was talking about on the sunglasses if you stick them on the figure head sculpt looks a bit jacksy honestly but if you stick these on there you guys can see it kind of looks like they're just tinted a little bit there which is nice he also comes with the nasal strip which is very popular for athletes especially around this time period head sculpt looks good it's pretty much the elite one painted differently but it does kind of give me jacks vibes a little bit but it's not bad he has the black silver and white very clean paint deco going on and it looks very good i just wish they went with a different attire protect this ring kind of a play on the under armor protect this house that was going on around that 
time as well. It's nice for MVP because him and Rey Mysterio were rocking gear and equipment that like I can relate to football around that time period and stuff like that and things that are popular and that's why I noticed like sneakers and you know gloves and like things that guys wear I can really relate to because some of those things that th those are some things that I cared about as well. So you have MVP on the back black and silver very clean gear like again the attire is sweet it's just not my go-to when you think of MVP because he had so many colorful attires around this time I would have liked to seen a debut or something like that but you know it is it is cool he's got the double jointed arms in there which are nice uh i like the the coloration and things like that it'd be cool to like slap this arm onto a different guy that's also in need of double jointed arms like i don't know i'm just thinking like elite 107 finn balor like judgment day finn balor putting this on there would probably be kind of dope i don't know just throwing stuff out there but you guys can see the fisted hands they're definitely too small you guys can see there compared to the MVP, but he's got the thick thighs, regular knee pads, and then he has kick pads down here with the just kind of like silver dots on there. Not nothing, anything insane, but I do like the MVP figure. I really do, and I think I have every Elite MVP that they've released so far. I have like the Elite 1, but it's kind of broken down because I mix match parts between the Elite 1 and the Elite 9, but that is your full Ruthless Aggression Wave. Now, I do want to rank this set from worst to best, or like my least favorite to my favorite, so let's go ahead and get into that, man. Let's start off with the bottom of the ranking for me it's going to be the Miz figure easily it's not even really close I just I had no when I saw that figure as a ruthless aggression spot it really bummed me out because we're filling a ruthless aggression elite there's so many guys you could give so many attires you could do so many moments and they went with the Miz just kind of a eh it's just like Jesus I would have liked to see Nikki Dolph Ziggler spirit squad over that right there, man. Actually, I'd pop hard for a Spirit Squad, Nikki Dolph Ziggler, boy. Get out of my face. Next up, coming in at the second spot is going to be the MVP. While I like the MVP and I like the coloration and stuff, I still think I would prefer the Rock figure. And uh, coming in number one is going to be the Rock. I just love that they did the Brahma Bull belt buckle. I think that's fantastic. They got the tattoo right. They got the proportions right. Only thing I don't like is maybe the height. I think they need to fix this gene mold. We need this is more of a standard guy gene mold, like a you know an AJ Styles. Even an AJ Styles, I think is too tall, maybe right here. But you know the Bischoffs of the world, and the guys that are in standard jeans. But we need a more like taller guy gene era, or like some more gene sculpts because I feel like they reuse the gene sculpts a lot, especially nowadays. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our ranking here, the Ruthless Aggression Elite figures. And I would have had more comparisons in this video, but very hard to do so when all of my figures are still packed up because I don't have anywhere to hang them right now. I don't have all my shelves up. I don't have things like that. Still planning out how I want the office to look, all those different things, trying to paint, trying to get things ready. So don't have all those things out there, but we will eventually get to it, man. I can't wait for the room tour when we finally get everything settled, man. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. A huge shout out to our patron supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. If you're interested in that, click the link in the description below. New things coming over there very, very soon. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on this wave down in the comment section below. Is it a pass? Is it a buy? Let me know those things. Hopefully I can find the ultimate soon. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you later.